This is Leslie. And this is Kelly. And we're the Dollar Saving Divas. In today's podcast, we're going to talk about what to eat for better sleep. But first, thanks to our sponsor for helping us keep this podcast free for you. This episode of the Dollar Saving Divas podcast is brought to you by RentTheRunway.com. You'll find more than 200,000 pieces and 400 designers in the Rent the Runway closet. Anything you want, one flat price. Formal, cocktail, festive, What type of event are you attending? Get four or eight day designer rentals for a fraction of the price. And when you click through the link on our Dollar Saving Divas Facebook page, you'll save even more and you'll help us keep this podcast free. Look great and save money too. Well, I have never had a problem getting a good night's sleep until recently. And now it's becoming more and more of a challenge. I don't know if you have that challenge, Kelly, but I was reading up on what you can eat before you go to bed um, that'll help you sleep. Is it, are you, you know, there's always that thing they say, you know, don't eat too late at night, too. But. Right. Don't, yeah, I've heard that. Don't eat, you know, like right before you go to bed. You don't want to go to bed with full stomach. And so I've always tried like herbal teas or different things, you know, that they recommend in the evening. But there actually are some things that they say you can eat about an hour before you go to bed. That'll help you sleep. Well, one thing I have noticed is. You ever get like leg cramps or muscle cramps? Oh like, gosh, yes. Oh, the, Charlie the Charlie horse, horse oh. in the middle of the night. And you're sitting there and you're like shaking. You don't want to wake your spouse up, and your leg hurts. Oh, I definitely so wake my spouse up. I wake everybody up. <laughs> everybody I, needs to know. <laughs> I, I guess, and it's like right in the middle of the night, and you know, so your heart rate goes up, and that's not good. And then you can't go back to sleep once you've kind of relaxed. You just can't sleep. Well, bananas. Oh, Getting potassium I heard regularly. That. Yes. It contains also magnesium, too, which has high, helps potassium enter your um, muscle cells more easily. Well, one thing I know that I, I do, because my daughter eats a banana every single day, so we always have them in our house. I, have you ever um, freeze your bananas? Yes. And then put them in like a the blender and make it like processor? a like, Yes, make like yes. a smoothie. You can do that and put a teaspoon of peanut butter um, in the food processor until it's like really creamy and smooth and then top it with a little bit of coconut flakes and that's like a dessert. Yeah, that is really good. We do that with the frozen bananas. Every time I have bananas that are starting to get soft, I just chop them. The key is don't freeze them whole because you put a whole frozen banana in your food processor. That's not good. <laughs> that's going to make a lot of noise. That's going to make a whole So I always just slice them up, throw them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer and then after you get a few, you can... It does make just like a soft serve ice cream when you put them in the. Yeah. Well, another thing you can have before bed, I love oatmeal in the morning, but apparently it's not just for breakfast anymore. If you eat oatmeal. That's a commercial. (laughs) And I don't think it's talking about oatmeal. But if you eat oatmeal before bed, um, it's a complex carbohydrate and it boosts your levels of serotonin, um, which promotes feelings of calm and plays a role in the production of melatonin. So eating that high fiber complex carbohydrate, like before bed can give you a deeper, more restful night's sleep. Yeah, but you know what? I don't like You're oatmeal. You're not an oatmeal I li- Well, I like oatmeal. I but love this, oatmeal. This is the only way I like oatmeal. I'm In a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Baked but it, into a cookie. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of close. <laughs> Warm oatmeal with a little milk and some maple syrup. Well, you could do that. Yeah, a little maple syrup. So it's like a or dessert. Or some like chopped dates you can throw in there. Or chocolate chips. Some chocolate. Mm, <laughs> sure. Okay. Can you tell I really don't like oatmeal? <laughs> You're just trying to disguise it. Well, one of the things you can put in oatmeal that is really good is walnuts. And walnuts, um, they are another food that are a good source of melatonin. So it could those could also give you um, a, a better night's sleep. So you could throw some walnuts into your oatmeal with some chopped dates. Doesn't that sound delicious? Now, that does sound good. (laughs) Now, do you know if there are black walnuts, English walnuts? There's lots of kind of walnuts. I just says I think you can have any kind of walnut. I think you could just, yeah, I don't don't think it matters. Well, my favorite, (laughs) though, is cheddar cheese because you know me. I love my cheese. Um, And it's... It helps to um, boost your hormone of the of serotonin. Isn't I that, didn't which, know that. Well, yes, I I didn't either. I always thought of it as a comfort food, but well, I didn't I, know. I was just going to say it's it's like my most favorite food in the entire world. Yeah, but um, so but if it's have, melted on macaroni, does it still have the same effect before bed? Well, the key is mm-hmm. a small portion, oh. like an ounce, but. I'm throwing that out the window because I cannot eat an ounce. Or And also they say to use sometimes the low-fat cheddar. Sorry. And you mm. also have to remember you have to use real cheese, not processed 
I call it the plastic the cheese food. Cheese. Yeah, cheese food, <laughs> cheese processed. Whatever that food. means. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not cheese gonna whiz. Help. Cheese. Oh, remember when you'd spray it in your mouth? Oh my goodness! And then you throw it up that like was, a little cracker. Yes, like a little. That was the cr- crust yes. cracker. Oh my god! I love cheese. Yeah, I think we're taking these tips a little <laughs> too far. All right, no cheese whiz. Well, the, the one thing is about all of these. Are, I mean, these are great tips, and most of these we have in our refrigerator or our pantry all yeah, the time, anyway. and they're healthy foods in moderation. The key is moderation. <laughs> now, can we have a glass of wine with that? Because that would help me sleep better too. Well, that's true. Cheese and wine. Wine and cheese. Why not? Thanks for listening to the Dollar Saving Divas. If you have ideas for an upcoming episode, we would love to hear from you. Just head to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash dollar saving divas CBUS and share your comments. Our podcast is available on iTunes, iHeartMedia, or your favorite podcast player. Thanks again for listening.